hello kingdom family welcome back to my channel today we're going to be talking about the subscription box or should i say bag known as ipsy yes so if you're interested in finding out is ipsy worth it yes or no stay tuned welcome to the 3b kingdom where you're blessed beautiful and bright it's all about faith, fashion, beauty, and life for the brothers and sisters of the kingdom. So join today. Alright kingdom family, I've been subscribing to Ipsy now for a while. And instead of doing a when I got my Ipsy bag every month because everyone does that. I kind of waited and I've been holding on to my Ipsy bag since February um, to basically look at them as a whole. Let's really look at Ipsy to find out, you know, it's good to look. You see a video and you say, oh, I love it. And maybe you only loved what was in March's bag, but April and May's bag were like, Pfft. so just to look over the time, we're going to check out all the different things that Ipsy has offered. Again, I've been um, saving up my bags, I think, since February to share with you, okay? So I'm going to show you my February all the way to July bags and talk about what were in each one of those bags. And then we're going to talk about, is Ipsy worth it? Yes or no? But before we get into all of that, have you subscribed? You knew I was going to ask if you subscribe. I always ask if you subscribe. Some people think I should wait to the end of the video. But I'm going to just ask now. You don't have to make a decision now. But I'm going to ask now. You can wait to the end of the video. It's up to you. You can, you can hit the subscribe button anytime you want. I mean, it's your prerogative. But I'm hoping that you will. We want you to join the family. So just go ahead and smash that red button. In addition, make sure you also click the notification bell so you won't miss not one single upload. And don't forget to like and also leave me comments. I want to know. My question is, do you have a subscription service that you are a part of? If so, what and what do you like about it and what don't you like about it? Alright, so without further ado, let's talk Ipsy. What? is ipsy it says that an ipsy bag is basically a subscription service um it says each month subscribers receive gorgeous glam bag with five deluxe sample or full-size goodies for only ten dollars all right it says this is try beauty samples by popular brands all right so when you first sign up for ipsy the first thing they make you do is take a style quiz and basically they say that depending on your answers to the style quiz is how they pick what samples they send to you so what's in my ipsy bag may not be in your ipsy bag depending on how you answer the styling quiz so once you do that again you sign up for the service it's ten dollars a month they charge you, I think, the end of the month or the beginning of the month. I'm not quite sure. But then, roughly around the beginning of the month, you get your Ipsy bag. Like, I usually get my Ipsy bag somewhere from as early as the 7th of the month to no later than maybe the 14th of the month. So, somewhere in between that second week of the month, I will get my Ipsy bag. All right? Now, I've been getting Ipsy bags since November, and I'm going to show you, like I said, I've been holding on to them since February to just kind of show you what I got for the last couple months, share with you my thoughts on each bag, and then we'll come back at the end and talk about Ipsy. Is it worth it? Okay? All right, so let's jump into our February bag. February's bag. Now, February was basically the theme unzipped let me see it says unzipped and that was basically what the february bag was and since it was february around valentine's day it came a cute little pink bag with this black lace detail in it you always get a card and the card will tell you again the theme which was unzipped it says ipsy's february 2018 and that was the picture in the front 
Um, it says being sexy isn't limited to a certain size, shape, or age. All right. And I'm not going to read the whole thing in the back. But basically, you always get your card. Now, the items I received for the month of February were as follows. The first thing I'm going to pull it up was Clinique's uh, Moisture Surge 72 Hour Hydrator. And again, I've been holding on to this stuff for February. See how much I love you guys? Because they wanted to give you like a complete six month look at how these things went so i was waiting for july's bag i got july's bag today to complete my little six month you know survey of how well i like ipsy all right so here we go i got clinique that was the first thing and that was the moisture surge for 72 hours i got this farah angled brush it says be beautiful be you you know purple's my favorite color so i love this brush all right so it's a large angled contour brush I got this, it says Sand and Sky Brilliant Skin Detoxifying and Brightening Purifying Pink Clay Mask. And then I got this Beauty Basics um, Foiled Eyeshadow, alright. And the final thing in the February box was this, what is it, Pink Pewter Curling Mascara. Alright, so Pink Pewter Curly Mask there. So this was February's Unzipped Themed Box. Put everything back in there. Because now I can finally put this stuff away. <laughs> so that was February. Alright, let's go into March. March's bag is this one here. I actually really love this bag. And its theme was Create. There you go, where's my theme card? It says, this month, turn yourself and your world into a work of art, redecorate your space, mash up two lipsticks to blend your own custom shade, rethink your wardrobe, pairing prints and combos you never usually try, so forth and so on. But this was about the month of being creative. And this was, I call my birthday bag, because it was March, so it came for my birthday. And so the first thing that I got was a Hakari Cosmetics pigment. Look in here because I'm looking at my phone to see that way if I need to look up any of the products I can look them up. I'm looking for this. Here it is. So here is this pigment. It's in the color I got Shine. The next thing I got was a Sky in Iceland Pure Cloud Cream. That's this right here. And again, these are little, like I said, sample sizes. So I want you to see what type size products they were getting. They're a little bit bigger than like the sample size stuff you would get at Sephora or at um, Ulta. So they're bigger than those types of samples, like the little samples that I usually get in my bag with my order or whatever. But they're nowhere near full size, you know what I mean? I would say maybe we'll call it trial size. And then the next thing was... Benefits Bad Girl Bang Mascara. Okay, and it's a little mini one. And then what we have here Skin and Co. Whip Cleansing Cream. I'm going a little bit faster so this video won't be that long. Then we have the Steve Laurent Lip Oil in the color Orchid. And then last but not least, also they gave me two little markers to actually, if I wanted to color in my bag, to color the different things. So you can actually color your bag in. So this was March's Create theme. Our next bag is April's bag. This is probably one of my favorites. I love this butterfly bag. It's beautiful. It's butterflies in the front, lavender on the back. Really cute. Alright, and, and the theme of that month is Social Butterfly. It says, life's too short to skip all the fun stuff happening right now. The first thing I got is this Feel Restored Self-Warming Clay Mask. So that's that. The next is Marc Jacobs um, 
Shameless Youth Look 24 Hour Foundation. Um, and this is in the color Deep. Let's pull this out. I didn't know I had this. I don't know if it's going to be my shade, but I'm going to try it. So that's Marc Jacobs Foundation. Alright, next I got was Clark Botanicals. See, I'm glad I had it on the phone because it just got CB. I ain't know that stand for Clark Botanicals and this little thing on the side. It says Clark Botanicals Retinol Rescue Overnight Cream. Okay, so this is a night cream for your face. And next is a Ruby uh, makeup brush. So that's, that's an eyeshadow blending brush. And we have a Steve Laurent, what is this, blush. And we're going to keep it moving so that this video is not too long because we know you guys don't like long videos. So we're just going to keep it on moving right on on to May. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, and I hope you are following me on Instagram, you will see that I had the May bag that matched one of my outfits from Ashley Stewart. It was my yellow and um, like pinkish color dress. This little bag went with it so perfectly. So I kind of had it in the, in the photo shoot. But this was the bag that I got in May. And I'm going to try not to even look at my phone and just wing it from here. Um, this was Go There. This was like a travel theme bag. So here's my card. All right. And in it, I first got was a mask, and this didn't even fit in the bag, so this was kind of like thrown in the other little uh, pink mailer that they pale it. So it's called, this is 111 skin, or is it three ones? I don't know how they pronounce that. 111 skin, I don't know how they pronounce it, but it's a rose gold brightening facial mask treatment. And so that is that. Alright, next thing in the bag was... A purple nail polish from Pretty Woman. Love, love that color purple. Gorgeous. A delicate skin cleansing gel from Mad Skin Care. A lot of cleansing gels. I got to check out, again, what's on my survey. Why I get so many um, cleansers and facial products. Um, next is a NYX uh, liquid lipstick. And there's one more. This is by Pop. And this is Pop Goes the Shadow in Mermaid Teal. Want to see what the teal looks like? Here we go. And that is Mermaid Teal. Alright. <clears throat> Next up is June. We're moving right along. My June bag theme was Flying Colors. Okay. Flying Colors. And in it, first thing we got is an Oprah... Ofra I said Oprah. Oh goodness. Ofra blush melon. So that's a melon palette. I can put this in my um, Z palette. It'll stick right on there. And then we got a MAC lip glass. So this is the MAC lip glass. Pretty good. So we got Ofra. We got MAC. Next one is Delectable body butter cream That's that then we got a jante blue what is this liquid eyeliner so it's a liquid eyeliner and then we got pixie glow tonic all right so those are all the things that came in my june bag and that's what the bag looks like I don't think I showed it to you in the beginning it's got these three shades it's red then it's kind of like a coral and then a pink and then the whole back is also that coral color and last but not least is July and I haven't opened July so you're gonna open July with me so here it is now again when you get your ipsy bag it comes in these pink little mailers you can just, has a little thing where you tear it. Easy opening, right? And then, voila, I always look at the bag, make sure there's nothing in there. Because sometimes if the product doesn't fit in the bag, you stick it in here. So, and this is a beautiful 
like icy color blue. It's got the little ipsy on the little circle on the zipper. Let's see what we got. It's like a pretty color for the pool. We got another Ofra product. Let's see what this is. This is eyeshadow this time. It's almost like a midnight black. What color is this? This is eyeshadow. Exquisite. We'll, we'll go. We have a sugar. Yeah, sugar eyeliner. And it's in the color green light. So sh this is a green eyeliner. We have hemp sweet pineapple and melon herbal body moisturizer we have Seba Med liquid face and body wash for sensitive skin and we have a Lord and Berry I guess this is a lip liner yeah Mandarin lip liner Alright, I'm going to put all of this back. And stick it back in my bag. So, let's recap. July was a pool theme, right? June was all about color. Flying colors. Then we have, this was Go There. This was all like a travel bag, right? It's got the orange and the yellow. Very pretty. Our butterfly bag. I think this is the out of all the bags. This is my favorite. Okay. Social butterfly. Then we have our create bag. Alright. Black and white. Pink little zippers. Got the little ribbon detail. And then February's pale pink bag with black lace. Okay. So there's all our bags. That's six months worth of bags. Let's talk about how we feel about these bags. Let's chit chat about it. All right, now, let me talk about how I feel about these products. Well, first of all, I'm going to talk about the things I like about Ipsy first. So start the positive. Because um, there's a lot that I like about the bags. Okay, so the first thing is, of course, I just love getting stuff for every month. It's like a surprise. So that's always good. I love... You know, that thing of when I find that little purple bubble wrap, like, oh my goodness, what did I get this month? Um, so, that's a plus. I think it's made, they've made it very easy. Um, it's very affordable. I think $10 a month is one of the cheapest subscriptions out there that you can get. I mean, you know, a lot of people compare Ipsy to things like um, different other makeup bags and things like um, BoxyCharm and all that. But, to be honest with you... Um, for the price point, Ipsy's pretty good. So $10 is, is definitely not um, breaking the bank at all. $10 a month is, is pretty good. And so, do I like all the samples that I get every month? Um, for the most part, yes. I'm, I'm going to say it's nothing that I get in the back. Like, oh my God, I hate this. Why would they say? I've never disliked anything that has come in my Ipsy bag. But, after a while, because now that's why I waited six months in. Um, and like I said, I've been getting them since November. I just started tracking it for since February. But once you get to this point, is I've been holding on to these bags for six months. And you look at six months all together. You start being like... Got a lot of moisturizers here. Got a lot of cleansers here. You know what I mean? Like, I would like some more eyeshadows. I, you know, how many, you know, different um, lip products that I get. I mean, I think out of all of them, did I pull up like maybe one or two lip products? So I just feel like it could be a little bit more diverse. But that might be just my bags. Maybe I need to go back and check what I've answered in my style quiz to see what am I, did I answer that made them think that I'd rather have more skin products versus makeup so you know that could be the difference in why my bag has more I feel like skincare than it does um makeup I, and I know I probably rather prefer more makeup than skin products but maybe something I answered led them to believe something differently but that's the only thing is I kind of get I feel like it gets a little repetitious sometimes getting the same thing over and over and over and over again like I did like in this last bag that I got a green eyeliner because like how many black eyeliners can I possibly you know you get a lot of those now 
the sample sizes are decent sizes. Like I said, it's only $10 a month. So, like, again, you can't really compare it with Boxy because Boxy Charm is more expensive, but you're getting full size products. So, for the price point that Boxy Charm is, I think that it's a steal to pay what you pay BoxyCharm and get those full size products and they're awesome products by the way. Um, can you tell I like BoxyCharm? That that review's coming coming a little later. I did Ipsy first. But for this price point for ten dollars a month, you cannot beat it. And I'm gonna say that. So you like anybody who complains like, oh you're not getting like a boxy charms better. Boxy charms more expensive. You give you're paying ten dollars, you're getting more than ten dollars worth of stuff. I mean, the little cosmetic bag alone, I feel like is worth the ten dollars. I mean, if you ask me what's my favorite thing of the whole bag, it's usually the bag itself. I absolutely love these cute little bags. You can do so much with them. You can keep them. I use them. I put all my cosmetics in them and put them in my pocketbook. So that's like my on the go stuff. My And like little sample size mascaras and little lip gloss in there. I have a little tiny bottle of perfume. Stick that in there. And I take that with me so that if I need to refresh my makeup, I, I have always have a cute little cosmetic bag with my stuff in it. So I think those bags are worth it just for that alone if you don't want to keep all the bags every month you keep the ones you like you can gift the other bags I mean they're perfect little sizes to for you to put little candy or something in it and give to a co-worker as a, a birthday gift or give to somebody on Christmas as a little stocking stuffer so the bags I feel as though again is more than worth ten dollars just for the bag um then now you got stuff that's in the bag and so again to me, it kind of helps you try new products. So you might not know that you would like something until you try it. The only thing sometimes though with these little trial sizes is it's sometimes not enough for you to make a decision. For like skincare, like I need to use skincare for a long time. How can I know it says that it reduces wrinkles and you only gave me enough in the bottle to only do a week? There's no wrinkles leaving in a week. So I don't know if this product really works or if I really like it with just a week's worth of product, if that makes sense for skincare. But for something like eyeshadow or blush, like the Ofra blush and all that, that's perfect. That's enough for me to know, oh, I really like the formula in this. I'm going to go out and next time I'm at the store, pick up some Ofra blushes. You know what I'm saying? So those types of things it's worth it but like I said skincare which is, I guess you can tell I'm kind of like over it skincare like now lotion is different too because if I wear use lotion for a week and my hands feel soft and I like the way it smells um I might say oh I really love that lotion I'm gonna go pick up some of that lotion so that's that's good and plus those little lotions again you put them in your pocketbook and your hands get dry you can pull them out you always got a little moisturizer on you so they come in handy as well so worth it for ten dollars i'm gonna say absolutely so if you ask me is ipsy worth it i'm gonna say two thumbs up yes do you agree with me i don't know let me know down in the comments section all right so without further ado I'm going to let you guys go. Hopefully this video didn't come out too long. Let me know again about any subscription services that you belong to. If so, what is it? What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? And then let me know. How do you feel about Ipsy? After seeing six months worth of Ipsy bags, would you think it's something that you're interested in? If so, I also left the link. Go ahead and you can click my Ipsy link down below. Again, I'm just a small YouTuber, so I don't really have no affiliate links or anything like that I'm doing all this on my own but if you do use my link to sign up for Ipsy I do get percentage off my next Ipsy bag um, or I earn extra points or something like that I don't know I forget what I get but I know I might get something so if you uh, if you really want Ipsy and you like it and you use the link below you're gonna get yourself a discount because you get a discount for using the link and you're gonna get me probably a discount off my next bag so Without further ado, I'm going to let you guys go. And remember, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and shine bright. All right, I'm going to leave another video for you right here somewhere some somewhere on the screen. It'll be a video that will come up in case you want to watch some more. But until then, I'll see you later. Bye. The
Don't you know that you're blessed? Don't you know you're beautiful? So shine.